Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And a lot of you have emailed me within the last 24 hours asking if the purchase or the acquisition of TrackPhone is a bit too aggressive. And I understand everyone's concern. Adding 21 million more subscribers onto the network could bring the network down. So I understand the concern. We all know as it stands today, Verizon has a lower spectrum position compared to the competition. But just to point out a few things, so Hans Vestberg spoke at the uh, Goldman Sachs virtual conference and they asked him exactly this question. Can your network handle the additional track phone users? So for some of you that haven't watched my other videos, I just wanted to point out that out of the 21 million total subscribers that TrackPhone has, 13 million are already on Verizon's network. The others, the rest, the remaining, they are on either AT&T or T-Mobile's network. So there's roughly 8 million customers that Verizon would essentially add to the network very quickly if they consolidate them all under one network, which is what likely will happen. Once the acquisition closes, if there's no regulatory pushback, they would likely send out Verizon SIM cards and make those customers move over to the Verizon network. So you would potentially gain 8 million subscribers onto your network very quickly. Some may leave, some may say, hey, look, your network, I've tested it, it doesn't work in my area, I'm going with the provider that I'm with now under a different company. So a couple of things that I wanted to point out from a network aspect here, the deal is set to close in the second half of 2021 if it does not receive pushback from the administration. By that time, Verizon will have more infrastructure in the network CBRS will be more deployed on a larger scale where they did purchase it. And then we do have the C-band auction taking place in December. And I believe the first 100 megahertz can be deployed within the first year of purchase, I believe. There's a clearance period. Verizon is going to spend that additional amount to clear the spectrum faster. And I think it can be deployed within the first year. So there's going to be more spectrum being added onto the network throughout the throughout the years. And of course, within the next six months or so is a very long time in the wireless industry. So there's going to be more sites, more small cells. So what Hans Vesberg was saying, and you can read it for yourself. I will leave this in the article, this article in the description down below. He was saying he's very confident in the network engineers that they will take care of the job and handle it correctly and the network will perform as you'd expect from Verizon. So just keep that in mind if you are concerned about this bringing the network down even more or you know causing congestion. It's a valid point that you're making but just keep in mind 13 million of those customers have already been on the Verizon network all these years so in your area potentially that you couldn't even, you wouldn't even notice anything because those customers have already been using the network so just keep that in mind as this uh, as this acquisition potentially happens in the second half of next year so if you have been on the channel you can go ahead and end this video now if you are new to the channel and you look forward to updates like these make sure you like share subscribe Hit the notification bell so you are notified when YouTube, when I do upload the content. If you feel YouTube does not push it out fast enough or it's two, three days late, make sure to follow my Twitter. I do post the videos on the Twitter as well. And thanks again for watching. This is Tyrone with Tech Life, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.